everybody, how's it going? Happy Bank Holiday Monday to all the UK. And to you guys everywhere else, it's a good morning or good afternoon. And you're all tuning in from different places. If you can see me, if the lighting's cool, give me some love hearts. Put some likes, likes, likes. That'll be awesome to see you. And obviously I'm Susie Boom, if you don't know who I am. Uh, I am tuning in from Devon in the UK. And it isn't very sunny at all. We haven't had a very good bank holiday weather at all. But anyway, it's all cool. Who cares? Hey, Bailey, thank you guys for joining. That's awesome. Obviously, hashtag, if you watch on replay, because I know a lot of guys catch up when we're not live. If you are live, give us some love. Facebook loves... Why have I got a red pen tonight? Where the hell's that come from? Anyway, red. Um, Facebook loves the love emoji, apparently. So, can you put loads of love hearts? Apparently, it goes crazy for it. So, that'll be an awesome start, yeah? And, obviously, we've got David Baston. Do you all know who he is by now? The fourth night, the weekend extravaganza we've done. Good God, I'm full of energy tonight. A lot better than I was last night. And last night's live was very entertaining, I must say. <laughs> you met Bella. The flicking cat was in it. Don't you worry. Tonight... Home alone, peace and quiet. So, tonight's live might be a bit different. No, it's not, because I'm normally honest anyway. And we're talking about the fear of self-honesty. So, this is going to apply to mm, a lot of things in your life, actually. We're talking from a business point of view. We're talking to network marketing point of view. But actually, it, it's for everybody. So anyway, shall we see? Show us some love. Are you all ready to get the fear fighter on live? Are we ready? Let's see. Come on, come on. Where is he? It's adding. Do you like the little stars? I like that background, actually. It looks quite groovy. Is he coming? Ow! Boom! Actually, I forgot, to do my, I forgot to do my bloody boom, didn't I? Start the presses. <laughs> but look at the time. You're actually early. Oh, my God. Am I feeling okay? Kennedy, I... lie down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're impressed. That's two nights now in a row I've been early. I'm amazed. You've oh. turned over a new leaf. You're being honest with yourself. Ah, oh, here we go. What? You need to be on time. <laughs> if I'm on it, if I'm honest, right, I'm always late. There you go. Oh, there you go. I'm always late, like at least, for the party. At least the you're party. honest. On Saturday, we were supposed to be there, I think, two, three hours previously. And I was like, sorry, I'm running late. <laughs> but we show up. <laughs> we're showing up, though. That's the key. Hey. Oh, God, you've frozen. Talk to me. I can't hear you. Not technical issues. Right, guys, put some comments if you can hear me or if you can hear David. Because for David, I lost you, then I lost him, lol. Well, guess what? I'm all by myself now. Where's he gone? Okay, go. Can you, you can hear me. Excellent. Karen's in the house. Florida. Woohoo. Awesome. Well, well, that was a short-lived uh, Fear Fighter introduction, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, guys, let's see. Hey, Jade, lovely. Alison, cool. Let's see if we can get him back on. Oh, my gosh, it must be a dodgy Canadian signal. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. Because he normally blames me. Do you know what I mean? Ow! Boom! Try again. Take two. I have no idea what happened there. Technology. Oh, Oh, do you know what? It, it has to be, doesn't it? Because last night, anyway, stop rambling. Let's get right into it because I love, I want to talk about this. Revved up for this. Perfect. Hey, Tracy, thank you so much. Everyone's jumping on. <clears throat> the fear, oh, the fear of loss. That's funny, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> loss of signal. Well, you know, yesterday we were talking about, we were talking about decisions. <clears throat> and we were talking about the fear of making decisions. And yes. part of making decisions 
is we need to be honest to ourselves. We need to have self-honesty because what happens is we get put into a situation where we need to make a decision and we end up lying to ourselves. Mm. Like think back, how many, you know, have you ever been in a relationship where you knew you stayed too long? Have you ever been in a, in a job where you knew you stayed too long? Yeah. 100%. Most people, yeah, most <laughs> people have. But the reason why, the reason why you stayed in that, in, in those situations is because you came, made up excuses. You were complacent. You're like, uh, you You'll rationalize. You know, it's, back, well, you know it's not that bad. It, it could yeah. be worse. You know, those kind of, but, but we're lying to ourselves in that sense, right? It's kind of like if we're, we all know, <laughs> we all know if we're happy. We all yeah. know if we're fat. We all know if we're not eating properly, if we're not working out, if we're drinking too much, if we're smoking, if we're doing drugs, all this stuff that's not good for us and not healthy for us, yet we still do it. Well, how is it possible that we can do that? You know, it goes, it goes back to what we were talking about yesterday about our amygdala and how it steers us away from pain. Because we know that if, if we change or give up any of those things that I just talked about, yeah. It's going to cause us short-term pain. And yes. if we don't take action immediately, yeah. our brain's going to kick in and steer us clear. Okay, well, you know, how many times have you told you, you know what, I'll start working out tomorrow or uh, next week on Monday or this or that. But then there's always something that comes up that stops you from doing it. And yeah. it's that <laughs> rationalization that we need to get rid of. And the greatest part is, Self-honesty is the cure for rationalization. Mm -hmm. And hello, Margaret. Hello, Tracy. Sorry. Shout out. Margaret's in Canada, didn't she? Tracy's obviously local. She's saying she can't hear me. Can you hear us, guys? Is the volume okay? Give us some love if you can hear us. If not, put a thumbs down or something. I don't know. So we know what's going on. The joys of Facebook lies. But yes, good point. And what was the other topic we were going to say about uh, self-honesty we wanted to touch on? Well, I mean, so you, you have to be, it's like, especially if you're talking about business, Yeah, you have to be honest. You have to have self-honesty first before you can have honesty and integrity in dealing with other people in business. Because if you're yeah. constantly lying to yourself, well, how do you think that's going to come across to other people? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I, I suppose ah, I've got to be diplomatic a little bit, haven't I? I do. Do I? Kennedy, do you? <laughs> yes, I do. I'm a professional. But the way that some people do do things is not correct. And yes, honesty is not in their thought process whatsoever. Because it seems to be for their, to gain for their own benefits, which I absolutely do not like at all. Because I'm right. very much a giving person. I'm very honest. So if somebody, you know, uh, like we say, we're here to help people. We're here to motivate people. We're here to inspire people. We're genuine people. We're not trying to, what's the word, where people might, exploit someone or someone might think oh yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna get in contact with them because whoa i'm, go I'm gonna go straight to the leaderboard or i'm gonna do this do you know what i mean that they're thinking of themselves not actually of the person right am i making sense am i making yeah. sense i'm yeah, doing quite completely. diplomatically guys <laughs> hey <laughs> catherine thanks for jumping on yes hey catherine hey brett nice to see you. and i think in, you've got to have your hard work. You have to have your own, obviously, self, I keep going on about self-belief, strong mindset, and you have to have hard work ethics also. And, again, it's not all about us. When we're working with what we're doing, it's about other people, and it's backing other people, and it's supporting other people, not trying to... What's the word I'm trying to think of? You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, we're not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sit here and watch you struggle with it. That's all. Oh, you. <laughs> okay, I'm going 
gonna go boom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Susie went boom again. Yeah, she went missing again. So my point from this is be bloody honest, okay? Don't fluff it up. Don't yeah. don't send me messages saying, Oh, I wanna do this and that. Oh, can you do mate? If your intentions are not correct one hundred percent, don't message me. That's what I'm saying, because I am all about honesty, hundred percent ethics. You're doing it properly. If you're not doing it properly, I'm not interested, okay? Because I'm here to help other people properly, support them properly, train them properly. Um, and that's my little rant again. Kennedy's ranting again, but I wanted to say it because it's, I think in this, well, this new industry that I found myself in, holy smokes. Okay. Norway's in the house. Yes, thank you for distracting me. <laughs> but it really, it really does start with self-honesty, right? I mean, yeah. you're coming from a place of self-honesty. You're yeah. aligned with your core values. You're not putting, but you're not willing to put up with anybody else's crap no. who isn't coming from that self-honest place. On the they're same coming page. from a, yeah, the they're same. coming from a place where all all they want is money or all they want is success or fame or whatever it is and because you're not coming from that same place you're not aligning with their values therefore yeah. it just it doesn't work for you yet you could you could lie to yourself and try yes. and stay in those relationships with those types of people but yes. at the end of the day it's not going to work out it's very just not going to work point. very good point and i know it's you know, I don't know, I must be a weird, well, not a weird person, but I, you can, I can tell from someone, if they're messaging me, and they're, li you know, they're li and I'm talking, and then you sort of get in, they're asking you, and I'm just like, hang on a minute, this isn't, this isn't going quite the way that I would approach that person, or this isn't actually, it's not on my wavelength at all, there's something underlining going on here, and yeah. that doesn't sit well with me, see, I can't, because I, this is what I reckon it is, guys, is because obviously I have, you know, I was a single parent. I've had to bring up Sharp and James on my own. I've been in business on my own. Um, I've, I've worked so, so hard. And now with us, David and I, doing these lives since November last year, every Wednesday we've shown up. And there might be one person live. There might be two people live. They might, And now we're building it and building it and building it. And what I'm finding out is... Suddenly, there's people popping out the woodwork bloody everywhere going, oh, my God, you're a mate. And I'm like, hang on. We've been here. Remember. <laughs> but now, and, but that is what happens. It's like in anything you do, if, if another business is successful, let's use the motor tray because obviously I'm motor tray. And funny enough, I was talking to my brother today, and he was saying to me, do you know what? He said, when I went through a phase where he was selling Toby's three series BMWs and there was like a, a wave of everybody wanted these three series Beamers and he'd take his pictures and he's marketing it and because he was selling he was doing well all the other local traders suddenly oh hey what's your name started copying his advertising copying his marketing sure. and that's what I'm on about you need to be creative you need to have it in you guys because I, what have I said before? No one is going to do it for you. We can help. We can show you. We can train you. But you've got to have it in your heart. You've got to have the proper core values in your heart. If you are, if you want to be true to, uh, man, you'll sleep so much better as well, guys. You will. Yeah. yeah. Because. And those, know, are the, got... and those are the what? types of people that, that we want to work with, with our new coaching practice, <laughs> right? We want to work with those type yeah. of people that already have that integrity, have those same core values that align with ours because, because we know that yeah. those are the people who are we're going to be able to help really excel in their business and in their personal lives. But not only that, David, we train them correctly. They've got the right mindset, the core values like us. They will then duplicate that down the line 
to say if these people do build teams, yes. if they do have employees, if they do have whatever they're doing, it's going to go correctly down the line and everyone is going to have a positive impact. And again, no negative. I am not interested. No negativity. Don't even come to me with negativity because, man, I'm a Grant Cardone girl, no. okay? Don't do it. No. Don't like it. Hey, Amelia. Hey, Brett. Positive. Hey, Sarah. Thanks for jumping on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Amelia, like, she used to be in the car trade. She was just telling me as well, which is interesting. So that's quite cool. Yeah, but, Amelia just was... had a comment. Amelia just had a comment. You have to believe in yourself mostly, then your product, your call, your colleagues, core values are everything. Exactly. That's what we're exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. And also find yeah, but also finding the people that you want to work with who have those same, you know what I mean? Values. Yeah. It's quite simple, really, isn't it? You would think it would be simple, guys, but do you know what? Bloody isn't. That's what I'm finding. The kick it's <laughs> it's simple, but Maybe it's I'm not easy. The wrong people. Right? No. What is what Maybe. is easy though? That's the thing. Nothing. Is it? No. No. If you're all it's enjoying simple. it, the process apparently. is very simple. I was just gonna say, sorry, so now if they swipe their phone to the left. They can hit the invite button. They can invite all their friends, all their families, anyone who thinks they're going to get value from this tonight. Please start inviting and please hit the share button because we really, this subject tonight, as you can see, I'm very passionate. I haven't stopped. Actually, I never stopped talking to I? <laughs> Poor old fear fighter. Didn't get to say much to you, mate. I'm so sorry. Right, I'll oh. sit it. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> I'm too. I'm too. You're saying, hey, hey, Darren, thanks for jumping I mean, on. We could be... be like this. Yeah. Happy bank holiday. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so I'll let you Great. carry on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Steve Kennison. I think that's no, your brother. He says, can I listen to David now, please? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, here we go. Look at those comments rolling comment. in. Yeah, we're talking. To, yeah. Apparently, they want to hear me for a change. I don't know. That's awesome. Hurry no, up, but you know man. what? That's what, and that's why we're so excited. We're so excited about launching this new coaching program to to work with other people to help them to align with those core values to help them move forward in their business. <laughs> to get over the fears. Look at how many comments we had yesterday when we started to talk about the fear of public speaking. Yeah. I think that's one of the one of the first courses that we're going to be offering for people is a fearless public speaking course. I've already got it set Definitely. up. We can just start doing Zoom, yeah. Zoom trainings with people all about how to get over those fears because like we talked about yesterday, to become an effective communicator is going to put you in the top 2% regardless of what business that you're in. Whether you're talking to employees, yeah. whether you're talking yeah. to a group of, of people, whether you're talking at a convention, you need to become an elite person as far as communication goes. And we can help you do that. Yeah, 100%. And that's what we're going to do it. Did anyone... Did anyone look at my Gary Vaynerchuk video that I posted on my timeline this morning? Actually, I don't think anyone liked it because it's a bit like me, see? He's very down, very to the point. And it's about people who, like I was explaining to you last night, was I saying that people don't understand why we're doing these net, uh, Facebook Lives. They don't understand what we're doing. They don't understand network marketing. And you get sick and all this judgment coming in on you. Why are you doing this? All the questions. It's like, do you know what? Give me a break. This is my life. We can do what we want to do. Why not? We're not hurting anyone. We're a You've life. frozen again. Oh, You've God. frozen again. Oh, it's time anyway. Oh, bugger. Ah. I don't know what's Keep going on talking. with you. I don't know what's going on with your signals these days there, Susie. Boom, but I don't know. Now 
I well, can't even hear you anymore. Well, thank you, my brother. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's oh awesome. Oh, my God, you made him laugh. Way to go, Steve. <laughs> Will you stop encouraging him? Oh, right. here we okay, go. I've gone. So, anyways, let's wrap her up. Right, well, we're, we're just about out of time, anyways. Yeah, you're, you're, let's go. you're frozen solid. Yeah. I'll wrap up. Thanks to everybody that jumped on today. Thanks to everybody over the weekend who has watched, commented, and shared our videos. Our numbers are just through the roof. Thank you guys so much. We really, really appreciate it. And yeah, Brett Griffin says, pay your internet bill, Susie Boo. That might help. <laughs> Guess so right, again, thanks to everybody for jumping mobile. on. <laughs> we greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. If you want to reach out to us, contact me with a personal message or contact Susie Boom. If you're interested in our new coaching, get in there. Let's rock this. We can do this, peeps. David Baston, the Fear Fighter. Signing off. Boom! Am I back? Am I back? If I'm not back, I'm going to go. I'm going to say goodbye. Put some love, put some thumbs up, guys, if I'm still here. Ciao. Okay, you're gone. Okay, guys, love you. We'll see you on Wednesday.